agenda yang tidak kalah penting didiskusikan dalam pertemuan antara Menteri Keuangan dan Gubernur Bank Sentral atau FMCBG adalah pendanaan transisi energi hijau dalam menangani perubahan iklim. Topik itu masuk dalam agenda diskusi agar terdapat konsensus serta peta jalan transisi energi yang dapat diimplementasikan. Berikut laporan Cinta Zanidia dan Juru Kamera Jeff Anderson dari Nusa Dua Bali. antara Menteri Keuangan dan juga Gubernur Bank Sentral atau FMCBG telah dimulai di Nusa Dua Bali. Salah satu topik utama yang akan dibicarakan adalah mengenai transisi energi. Dan sekarang ini saya sudah bersama dengan salah satu key players dalam topik tersebut. Sekarang ini saya sudah bersama dengan Menteri Keuangan Afrika Selatan, Enoch Gondongwana. Minister Enoch, good to have you here. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview. So, let's just talk about uh, energy transition. You've mentioned before that 90% of South Africa's electricity is generated by coal. Now, what are your plans to reduce that number and transition into greener energy? We have made submission to the United Nations, like all other nations, of our uh, contributions to, the end, to, to this. And therefore, we set timelines of reaching uh, the deadline by 2050. But before that, Over the next few years, for example, between now and 2030, mm-hmm. South Africa will be decommissioning about 10,000 megawatts of fuel for software. Mm-hmm. So we're working on a strategy which is twofold. How do we replace mm-hmm. the, the shortage now, the current shortage, and how do we uh, make sure that by 2030 there's enough capacity to, to replace the 10,000 megawatts? So that's what we're working on at the moment. Okay. And yesterday you also mentioned that you have partnerships with developed nations on tackling climate change. Now, do you think that um, the partnerships between developed nations and developing nations is one of the key components into tackling climate change and also to um, do energy transition, especially for um, developing nations like South Africa and Indonesia? You, you will recall the, the people who polluted and made the earth unhabitable. is the developed nations. Mm -hmm. Now, they've come to developing nations and said to us, Mm -hmm. we need to not to use the same ladder they use, in other words, kicking away the ladder. Mm -hmm. And we've then said, okay, fine, we'll we'll buy into the scheme provided you fund the transition. Mm -hmm. Uh, In terms of the Paris Agreement, they promise about 100 billion per annum, which they have not done now. Mm -hmm. We've also argued that we should also redirect Mm -hmm. the SRDs for nations that are not go- do not need them. Part of that funding should be channeling and assisting in, in, in developing the nation. That's one broad question. And in the case of South Africa, uh, they've made an indication on, at COP26 that they will provide 8.5 billion US dollars over the next few years uh, to assist South Africa's transition. We had there formed what is called the International Partnership Group. And it's that group that we're interacting with to define what exactly is the content of that 8.5, how much of it is concessional loans, how much of it is grants. In the context of that, we have released a six months report. We intend to announce at COP27 the investment plans. That's all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Minister. Ya, itu dia tadi wawancara kami dengan Menteri Keuangan Afrika Selatan Enok Gondongwana mengenai transisi energi di negara berkembang seperti Afrika Selatan. Cinta Zanidia, Jeff Henderson, Berita 1, Nusa 2, Bali.